Hello guys, welcome to the TGame14 channel. This is my let's play. Uh, this let's play is done on a custom mod pack, which is hosted on a server. Uh, the mod pack is made out of these mods, so these are a bunch of mods we put together and use them to play on a SMP server for 1.5.2. A lot of great mods, a lot of small ones, new ones, uh, all around. And basically, this is the start of the tea game corp industries so first of all these are crafting tables uh... tell me which wood this is made out of um, other than that i've started some ae you may see we're offline that's because well actually we're gonna get to that a bit later but except for that we have lots of power I know right now it's being eaten up, but usually we have more than that. Uh, we have our very basic stuff around here, a bunch of machines, your basics, you know how it goes. And all of that is spawn. So right over there, I built this by the way. So right over there is the spawn, actual spawn. Right over here is our power system and what's going to be run off. So this is a forest tree tree farm. Uh, it's a 3x4x3. Three by by three. And we'll go down there in a second. Uh, this is what fuels our to be base. Right now, I just got this big, ugly stone brick thing. Uh, later, I want to expand this more, uh, make a bigger, like more rooms and stuff. And uh, but for now, this is a good like workshop area. This is where I do my stuff. But what else? Actually, how do we fuel this stuff? So right now. I have a very derpy system. Okay, so this is my power generation for now. So as you can see here, there's the forestry multi farm. Sends down the stuff into this chest. I know you don't need a pipe you could just put the chest, but I want to access the chest. So here's a bunch of stuff we got from the farm. And then I took an emerald pipe which can filter stuff out and I put a piece of wood there. And a gate here that says if there's space in the uh, furnace send a redstone signal this redstone signal goes to the engine and pulls stuff out uh, then what happens is it gets cooked up moved around and goes into these engines these engines uh, produce two MJ per tick you can see right there two MJ per tick that's uh, pretty good for starter power uh, it basically runs off charcoal, which is uh, actually more efficient than you would think. It's more than enough to feel fuel this uh, multi farm, and it's actually really good, like surprisingly good. So that's what we use for power right now. My plan is this right over here. So I have pre-built this uh, low pressure boiler. It's gonna run off charcoal. And I've done a few calculations, so what we're going to need for this to work well is exactly 585 fuel items, as in 585 pieces of charcoal to get it heated up to the max. And that's supposed to take about 51 minutes from my like calculation things. Also, after that's heated up, it's going to take 184 items per hour to fuel this. And this is going to produce when it's all heated up. So this is the calculation. Oh. Each low pressure boiler is 10. And then, so we have over here 4, 8, 12. And 12 times 10, that's going to be 120 megabyte. Uh, no, 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 not 120 megabytes, 120 mega buckets of this uh, liquid of steam. And that's pretty good. That translates to a lot of energy because 120 divided by 5, that is exactly 6? No. 60? Um, 24. Oh, I'm stupid. Wow. Huge derp there. So this is going to produce 24. Oh. 24 MJ per tick. And 24, oh, food. 24 MJ per tick is a good start for such a low tier 
stuff we got ourselves from 24 later I'll expand this to a 3x3 and then we'll add more boilers and that's how we're gonna do our power for now so you can see right now got some charcoal I actually put some back into the engines to fuel them uh, this is running great really and right now this produces 16 MJ per tick but it uses a whole lot more charcoal which is not smart it's not a smart way to do this so I'm gonna get to it I'm gonna get a few stuff prepared be right back make some engines and talk to you guys in a minute welcome back guys uh, actually I'm gonna start doing the stuff I want to do so I've prepared some engines and conduits and first thing I'm gonna take this stuff out we don't need it anymore Come on, bye bye. All right. So, after we're taking this out, actually, we need that. <laughs> That's kind of important. There. What we do not need is this. Let's put some stuff in here. Okay, uh, so now let's reroute stuff. So let's get some p regular pipes. And Where's my... Not what I wanted. Am I really out of pipes? Uh, this should be good. No, no, actually. I'm gonna go quickly get another pipe. back in oh god okay so what we're gonna do is go like this then where's my sandstone pipe I really just had it yeah throw it out Okay. So here I'm gonna put a sandstone pipe, and then over here I'm gonna put a chest. Now this chest is gonna explode, as expected. What we're gonna do is bam, bam, bam. Bam. Hopefully this is enough to fuel it. Should be. I would think so. Gonna put this here. Alright. Now we can put this here. Throw some charcoal in it. So how this is gonna work? You get you get the charcoal put into here. It's gonna go out through these pipes, get to this insertion pipe. Now insertion pipes prefer inventories over other pipes. And then it's gonna first go to the boiler, and if there's no space in the boiler, it's gonna go to the sandstone pipe, which does not connect to inventories, 
just two other pipes and then it's gonna go back to here into this chest which this is basically an overflow chest uh, let's grab this okay that's the charcoal stuff so you see this is heating up it's not taking so long actually so we're gonna quickly get to the stuff that we want to do So considering this is actually really easy to set up, all I need to do is put engines here, 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 and one more which we'll put right here, let's get our liquid ducts. Actually, let's move this one. Like right over here. Uh, there should be good. Liquidux. Okay, there should be good awesome so now the only thing we need is a redstone signal so what I'm gonna do is put this right here get a lever actually four of them put it like oh uh, let's put it here there so now the engines should fire up whenever they get steam and each one of them is going to produce eight eight megajoules per tick so eight times four 24 exactly as we have done before so that's perfect right there uh, I do hope we can uh, support this amount of steam I believe we can because as we did for my calculations uh, 128 uh, was it 128 let me quickly check yeah it was 186 not 128 186 uh, pieces of coal per use so that's very very good you see it's already producing steam that's awesome okay, over 100 and very soon we're gonna start producing energy okay so let's just wait to see them in action and watch your energy cell. See here they fire up. Awesome. So you can see over here it's starting to reduce NJ and let's just wait for the eight. Come on, eight, eight. Ooh, I don't like this. Come on. Oh, saw five, saw five. Oh, it's heating up, heating up. Okay, if this hits an eight, then we are all good and we did our math right. And all we need now is wait for this to produce. So, another special piece of info is this is not the most efficient we can get. There's actually a much more efficient way if we get uh, a steam turbine now this produce produces energy units of IC2 and this takes a whole bunch of steel <laughs> um, this is a, th a 3 by 2 by 2 so it's like different blocks like this It would look like this, 
and then we will connect to this structure some engines now we're gonna need electrical engines which are basically tin engines we would produce 20% more energy but for now right now the way we do it is very good and it's good enough uh, for our uses so I'm gonna do a quick cut and set up some stuff for the next cut and I'll be right back okay guys welcome back uh, now we're gonna continue doing uh, some processing with our tree farm so first thing we're gonna do is set up some biomass so to make biomass I'm gonna do two things first of all I need emerald pipes which I forgot to bring so we'll quickly go get some emeralds great pipes I need not did I leave it over at the old base okay let's quickly go to the spawn house and check if I left it over there Pipes? Yeah, I did. I sure have. Okay, so let's grab a bunch of pipes. Might as well. Okay. Okay, so my goal is set up the two pipes to produce biomass by itself so the way I'm gonna do that is pretty simple actually what we're gonna need is this one squeezer and one fermenter so the squeezer is gonna squeeze apples into mulch so let's place them down let's put it this is still broke Oh no. Oh no. That's an infernal mob. God damn it. D uh, the mobs I get. Oh, wow. I hate those. And I didn't get anything good. Let's make this quickly. Let's clear out some more area. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is place down the squeezer, place down the fermenter. Actually, I'm gonna place them down a bit weird. I'm gonna place down the fermenter like this. Yeah, that's good. So, what we're gonna do is route some water over. And we need water to go from the back. So I'm gonna route it out like this. Where's my wrench? Like that. Where's my anchor X? Let's get some water piping. Great, that's good. And what's gonna happen is we are gonna need two of these. So one here and one here. Now I could do this with a diamond pipe, but I'm really low on diamonds right now, so I'm gonna leave that. Let's actually put it right here, would that work? Yeah, it does. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, just to save space, and since I'm more than able, I'm just gonna do oh, red some signal. There we go. Is that gonna make a clock? there and I'm gonna put two pipes on it let's get up there 
uh, not two pipes, two engines. Let's put this on the top. Th I'm pressing on the top. There. And Is it this right? Yeah. Now what these are gonna pipe is two separate things. Apples and saplings. Okay, so um okay, I thought you can access the emerald pipes. Am I gonna need to take them off? Okay, let's take them off. Alright, okay, so I'm gonna put apples to go out of this one. Here. Saplings to go out of this one. I'm gonna put back the gates. Where's the other one? How is that? Man, this game. Okay, so wait, let's get over there. Let's see how this is going. Oh, that's not good. Are we producing enough? We seem uh, very, very border-like. Just gonna add this to be sure. Okay, so you can see this already filled up with water. That's good. Okay. Okay. Finally. So is this... Yep. Is this with saplings? Yeah, good. This and this. This. Is this going to power this? That's, that's a problem. Okay, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, I'm gonna take the gate off this one. Just put down a redstone signal. Do I not have wood? Okay. You know what? I'm gonna get some stuff together and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, I've actually took the liberty to set this already up. So what I've decided to do is make it like this. So basically, we got our water pipe going all the way to here, filling up this. And then what we have is over here, we have a squeezer, which will make fruit juice and mulch. Now what the mulch does, it's going to be piped out. You'll see it in a sec. Should come out any moment. Let's just make this a bit faster. Okay, should come. There we see. There it is. Mulch. It's going to get piped through into this slot over here. Then you see the apple oak saplings will go into here and we'll make biomass. Now, <sighs> oh, now they're dead. And you see, this biomass is just going to sit here. So, what we need to do is put this here and I'm going to pipe it for now over to here like this and put a block, put a block. Actually, you know what? Let's put this right here. And lever. Bam. Now, good thing about liquid ducts, they can go right beside each other. Now, this is going to go into a void pipe because I don't want any apple juice, <laughs> to be honest. Nothing I, nothing I want to do with it. I could make some more biomass out of it. You know what, let's do that, just just for fun. We're probably going to need water anyway. But for now... Oh, come on, get off. Just go like this. And... This, this won't work. Yeah, this is not going to work. That's not good. What to do? 
I could just use a regular waterproof pipe. But that would need an engine, and I, I don't want to use another engine. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave it for now. I'm just going to pipe it out like this for right now. Okay, now the thing is this is going to go down here somewhere into a void pipe. This is going to go into tanks, into a big tank right here. Right now, I don't want to make a tank. I prefer to actually... Oh, let's hook this back up. Perfect. Right now, I just prefer to put this in uh, glass tanks, you know, the scrappy buildcraft ones. So I'm going to get those, uh, put it all together. Actually, you know what? Why not? Let's just go make some. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, my recording cut out there, but that's okay. Um, I found out I'm out of glass, so right now I'm cooking up some. Just throw some cobble in the pulverizer. Goes into a furnace, makes some glass. Easy enough. Uh, I'm gonna let that glass cook, place it down, and use that. But before that, I actually want to set up some of my engines. So. We have biomass now. Oh, oh crap. That's not good. Uh, okay, okay. Abort, abort. Wow, good thing I caught this in time. <laughs> okay, that was not good. Okay, I'll have to fix that. Okay, anyway, so what I want to have is more engines. So I want engines to run over here. And I have made eight biogas engines. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, and two more can fit over here. Uh, right there, that works. So now we need liquiducts. I'm all out. I'll make some liquiducts. Oh, no, not there. Let's go get some more liquid X. I just need some copper. Oh. Okay. Copper. Let's put this down. Ah, uh, seems good enough. Okay, so let's place this, this, there, 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 there. Now also, for the future, you may know biogas engines need lava to heat up. So what I'm going to do is add a row of liquid ducts here which will supply lava later right now I don't have the lava to produce to uh, get those pumping so for now I'm just gonna fill them with biomass because they have a really good storage so now they're being filled up with biomass now each engine produces 5 MJ per tick so 5 MJ per tick times that times 8 that is 40 MJ per tick, so in total we will be producing 64 MJ per tick. So, <laughs> that that's quarry power. That's enough to power a full quarry running all the time. That's actually way too much power. I mean, we're getting a bit overload. So we're going to need to find to do something with that power. And no more, we have big plans. First of thing, we need automated mining. So, I think this was good enough for this episode. Got it all done. Uh, catch you guys next time. It was awesome to see y'all. Bye bye.